Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm really, really glad you're here for the Untangle video. So we're working on 45 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. There's four gigantic bags in the box. Oh, I forgot my rings. We opened the first bag. This is the second giant bag. And now we are at a standstill because there's a lot of tangles. So what I usually do is, instead of dragging everyone through all the tangles, is I do a separate video to do untangling. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm glad you're here. If you enjoy untangling, I really hope you'll enjoy this episode. Also, I like to do the untangling video because on my channel, I open the boxes of jewelry with you on video. I don't open them first. Generally, I don't open them first. And I like to have you along for every moment and everything that comes out of the bag. So if I did an untangling video without you, you'd miss a lot of what's coming out of the bag. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes my channel a little bit different and more fun for you. And you also have the chance to not watch this video if you don't like to see untangling. But if you do, I hope you stay. Please subscribe and like and click the bell. Thank you. I do have my, um, my chain holder sort of hanger thing out behind me on my desk. And I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna have a tray where I put things that need testing, pricing, researching and cleaning. So I'll be putting those things off to the side as I untangle. Well, Miss Prissy, I really do hope they subscribe and especially click the like button, don't you? I do. Don't worry, I haven't lost my mind. Just saying, if you'd like to subscribe or click the like button, I'd love that. Thanks so much. And I did put a few rings on, but I don't want too much on while I'm untangling. So, this is a Larimar ring that I'm really disappointed is not sterling silver. Um, I tested it, and I'm glad I did, because it's Mark 925. It's a beautiful stone. I still love it, um, but I was so disappointed. This I got a long time ago, thought it was aquamarine. It is sterling silver. But it's also rhodium plated, which was pretty exciting to learn about rhodium plating when I got this. And that's a sterling ring. And this is my diamond ring. It's like a three year anniversary ring. So I love it, I keep it. Okay, so this, this time I am going to cut into the bag. I didn't want to do that before because I had to move the bag around. So we're going to get right in here. Do some untangling. I also think this is a good idea because it's almost Christmas time and a lot of sales are slowing down on YouTube, I think, because people are buying for others and not themselves. So I didn't want to do another video offering things for sale and have them kind of sit. So that's another good reason to do an untangle. Okay, so it looks like we have a nice big hoop earring. I do have the others put to the side. I don't remember seeing one this big in a silver tone. And I'll use my magnet. So this is not magnetic. It might be silver. I'm not going to take the time to look at the marks. I'm going to put it in my testing pile. And depending on the video, how it goes, how the untangling goes, Maybe we'll do some testing, too, because that's always fun, you guys say. Or you guys say it's fun. Oh, that would be nice if this silver ball bead necklace was sterling. Don't know. It's very bright and pretty, so that's going to go to the side. Oh, I could... Yep, not magnetic. It's so hard to not look at every detail because I just love to... I love to know what everything is. Oh my gosh. So to not really get into it is not easy for me. But again, I like to show you everything that comes out of the box. Just because it's kind of fun. 
Oh, wow, look at that tangle. Oh, boy. All right, well, this one seems to be coming out. What are you? Nice gold tone, very chunky. Oh, I'm liking it. It's having tassels. Oh, that's pretty. It might be a belt. I don't know. We'll have to look later. So that goes in the research pile. Okay, bangles. Let's see what might be causing the worst here. Yikes. Um, oh, I love that. Look at that. Purple. Very pretty purple. All right, I guess I'll just chip away at things. This looks like maybe it's cut on here, maybe an earring. Um, yep, oh, I fell right off, okay. And what are you? Um, looks like a gorgeous necklace. Oh, again, I'm dying to look at it all, but I'll at least get it out of the pile. And see what's up with it. Gold tone. Pretty. What else? What else? This looks sterling to me. Isn't that beautiful? It's all filigree. Definitely needs some cleaning. Look at the tight, absolutely exquisitely tight filigree work on this. Wow, I hope this is sterling. And look at that. It's a C clasp. That could mean this is older and the pin is long. Wow, okay. I can't help it. I am going to look to see if this is sterling because this is very special. You see anything on there before I do? Wow, I can't get over how intricate the work is on this it's really beautiful oh i'm not seeing any marks but it's not easy when you feel pressured for time when you're recording wow it's such a beauty okay can't stand it i can't stand it i'm gonna check Let's see what we got. Oh, I've got to really choose carefully. Hmm. Okay, I think I will <clears throat> test it over here. Oh, it tricked me. It sure did. It's silver plated. But it's going to look great after it's clean. It's still a beautiful piece. Silver plated over copper. Very interesting. And that was easy. So I'll put that in the clean pile. This is some kind of a wire that a necklace is probably strung on. Maybe got broken. Well, that came out nice. Alex and Ani type. It's got a beautiful blue stone on it. I will be back on the next video with prices for most of this stuff, so no worries on that. Maybe if I can find some earrings and get those out of the way. Yep, here's one. Yeah, this is really cool. I think I found the other one. Looks super old and made of brass. Even the ear wires are just quite different. I'll show you again. Isn't that just a different color? I'll have to really check that. Just very old. Maybe a 10 karat gold, I don't know. We'll have to see. 
that was an interesting one that I found in the beginning of the video. This looks lovely. It's not going to come out yet. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have an earring. That's cool. Don't remember if we had one before. I don't think so. And we have a bunny. Is that on the necklace? No. Oh, this is the second one of these. Great. So those might be sterling. I can't wait to see what those are. And here's our wire thing again. Okay, let's see if we can get this out. I did find one other one of these in here. I believe it's a beautiful Monet piece. And Trafari, sorry. I found another one in red, but the one of the wires, not wires, one of the fabric pieces around it was broken, so I put it in a craft jar. But this one, I'm hoping is not broken, and that we have ourselves a totally intact Trafari. That would be nice. Oh, no, look. You don't. Okay, I'm wondering, though, since, all right, since two of these have come off, I bet I could just take, oh, that's cool, that's leather. So now we know they used leather when they made these. If I took both of them off, we simply have a Trafari diamond cut rope chain. Well, that's not so disappointing. I'll see what I can do about that. I do like them with the colors in them, but since they're both coming out, yes. Okay, great. So that's gonna go in my repair bag. And so far, this is what I have in my repair bag. I do wanna show you this one. It's a beautiful Art Deco type brooch. I don't, have I found the stone? Yes, I found the stone that goes in. Is that not cool? And the butterfly. I found the piece of abalone, so that's going to get fixed. This bracelet, I have not found what goes in there, but that's pretty, right? Clamper. And this I wanted to do for my New Year's Eve jewelry sets. That if you haven't seen those, um, the video is called Holiday Jewelry Sets, and I'll put a link to that in the description or in the comments. But I wanted to use this in one of those jewelry sets, but there's one stone missing right there. So this is in my repair bag. I'm pretty sure I'll find that stone in this bag and just pop it in there, and it will be beautiful. That's what I have going over there. I also have this bag of earrings that do have each, does have each pair, and they've either been cleaned or they're all set, so they're ready to sell. And then, what does this bag say? This is the bag of items that need cleaning. Don't know, haven't tested things in there. I just immediately popped them in there for cleaning. So, that's that one. Okay. This looks like a roll-on kind of bracelet. Or, are these what people wear to hold their sleeves up? Because at one time I was using these as bracelets and someone said they were to hold sleeves up. But now I'm not sure what type was the sleeve and what type was the bracelet. But Okay, so that goes, I guess, in my pile of bracelets. This looks marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Look at that glass. I think it says 925 on it. Look at the artistry. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is quite beautiful. Now, what kind of stone would that be? It's kind of dark to be a lapis. But it could be. Oh, that's got to be sterling. I have to look. Look at that. The way it's made, the way it's put together. These bars on the side. The clasp over here. This is beautiful. 
it does say 925. Oh. Okay, that's all for now. I'm just going to put it to the side and we'll test that. Gorgeous. I'll have to look for a maker and all of those things. <gasps> Yay, I'm excited. That's a nice find. And we found our other elephant earring. These are cute. I always throw these older things away. And on our Wait for Your Mate board. I'd like to give you a peek of the earring board, but I wonder if I'm going to upset everything. But it's fun because you've been traveling along this 45-pound box with me so far, so you might as well see what's happening here. So some things have been paired up. Other things are still waiting for their mate. Waiting for their mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. So. See what we can get out of here. Now that is connected to that? I wouldn't have thought so. But you never ever know. Okay, take a deep breath. Look for a class. This looks like it's already unclasped. And then while you're pulling things out, you can't cause a worse tangle. So it takes a lot of patience. Looks like an earring is causing some trouble. Oh, that's good. Now we have two of those. Yay, another sterling silver. Geometric earring, beautiful. Maybe this chain is quite long. No, I think there's two of them because look at that. One's bigger than the other. I'm always scared to undo these. Like, which side do you pop open? Whichever one comes off, right? Now let's try to not lose whatever pendant is on that. Oh, I think we've got it. Quite tangled. I'm going to have to figure out that string because that's causing trouble. Yes, I got it with the pendant. Now, what is it? Um, 19 something penny. Don't know. Looks familiar, but I can't think of what that is right now. Almost reminds me of like Stangle Pottery when I used to buy and sell collectibles, but not sure. So we'll put that in the gotta figure out pile. Let's see if we can get the string out of here. This is the troublemaker. I think anyway. What would be on that string? Maybe I should just cut it. I'd hate to be sorry. Oh, it's going back here, all the way back here. <laughs> when I pull it, like something back there starts moving. You love fun unboxing videos and you love to see things just as they're coming out of the box. Please subscribe and click the like button and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks, bye-bye. Okay, it was so hard to not keep digging in, but my son just picked up my grandson and I was just dying to keep going but I couldn't I have to wait for you guys oh my gosh look at this a cameo on a whole bunch of chains this looks fantastic really oh my gosh look at this one too oh my goodness that has got to be abalone. I just got chills. Oh my gosh, I got chills. Okay, you go over there. We're going to try to calm down, take a breath. Look at that clasp. That's really different. Um, and the chains. And look at this beautiful little doohickey here. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. And then the Wow, now that looks real, I don't know. 
I'm going to turn on Miss Prissy because I should show it to you, but in, I think it was the 10 pound box that I got that we did unboxing, I found a camphor glass, a camphor glass pendant that turned out to be 14 karat white gold. And I realized that the camphor glass piece here is rock crystal. So I'm just going to test that to see if it turns up as glass or anything. And our most basic test is the magnet. It does stick to the magnet. It is a beautiful piece regardless. I love the clasp. It's a larger lobster clasp, so we know it's not terribly old, but the design of it is fabulous. I'm loving that. can't really tell on a cameo by feeling it if it's real, so let me see at least what it reads. And it's not moving, so I'm going to guess it's acrylic, but I don't know. Oops. It's going up a little, so it might be shell. Really hard to tell on some of these, so I will show you up close for those of you that are better at this than I am and see if we can tell anything. And I'll try this. See what you think of that. Does looks like it needs a little cleaning. Um yeah, that's that. Oh, that's a little better. Also, what I'm noticing is when my hands go up, I end up shadowing my my light. So there becomes a shadow on there, which is annoying. That's the back. See what I mean about it being smooth? That could be because there's a coating on it. There's so many issues with these. So many factors, but... It's very beautiful, that's for sure. I'm not supposed to spend all this time on something, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. That goes in the research pile. Um, oh, we have a ring. A peacock ring. Take a quick look, see for any marks. Looks like pewter, maybe. So put that in up there on my tray. Let's see if we can get this out. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. I see a spring ring clasp. What is this? It can't be attached to that. And it's wrapped around these things. Oh, come on, don't make me wait too long. Got to see what you are. I'll hold it up so you guys can look at it while I try to get the other end out. All right, let's undo this. And yeah, there we go. All right, so already we have this different kind of a chain. Is it two chains or one? It's one chain, but it has these sort of flattened areas on it. That's amazing. This is it's gotta be maybe marcasites. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, it certainly needs cleaning. These are more of a green color. Let me see. See if we can tell if they're marcasites. I really wish I was so much better at the magnifying glass at the at the loop on my phone. But I think the only way I can get better is to just do it. And then you have the shadowing of the lights. Those are definitely marcasites. I don't even care that there's one tiny one missing there. I really don't, because look at this piece. Definitely abalone. And the green stone. Oh, that's beautiful. Maybe it's just another part of the abalone that's a different color. I don't know. Oh, this is so beautiful. Interesting chain. Older spring ring. And look at the extender, too. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do with this is just look for a mark really quick. 
because I'm sure it says 925. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It does say 925. Wow. That is a beautiful find. Let's look at the back. It is marked on the back, too. And it says... 925 Thailand and CW. Now, I know what that CW is, but can't think of it right now. But just a beautiful, beautiful piece for sure. Very happy with that one. Can't wait to show you that all cleaned up and special. And when my son was coming in to get my grandson, I grabbed this piece again, this one that we found really looks lapis it does test as stone but i just thought i'd show you that it has all these markings on the side it looks like a lion here maybe i can drive you crazy with the loop i hope not okay now kristen kristen d she just slams hers right up not slams she puts hers right up against her camera and it works beautifully i wish i could do that try. No, I think I just have a different phone and different camera. So let's try it here. It has like a lion. Yeah, I'm making you nuts. So the first part says capital D like David, capital L like Larry. But it's not in an oval. It's not only in an oval. It looks like there's something hanging down. Then there's the full lion body with the squiggly tail. Then there's like a cougar or a cat. And then there's a script letter A. So that is so fun. Can't wait to learn about this. This is just one of those really cool. Look at the patina too. It's just perfect. Oh, okay. Enough. I'm so excited. There's two beautiful pieces. Also, I'm not sure if I shared with you all that this is a 10 karat gold American flag. And I found out that 10 karat SR, that's just the region. So this is a 10 karat gold little pendant or charm. So that's really nice too. And also in another video when I was unboxing, I found a, was it a 10 karat gold chain? It was dainty. It was lovely. And that sold right away to one of my best sweeties on the channel. And not sure if she wants me to tell that she got the chain, but she was very happy to get it for someone for Christmas. So just letting you know that we did get some other gold in here too. So let's get this out if we can. And whatever we have to put down on a paper plate, and get out a couple toothpicks or something. Of course we will. And I'll try not to yell and get too excited because I know that my untangle videos are watched quite often by people who just want to enjoy a relaxing um, ASMR type video. So I try to keep my voice, you know, at an even keel or something. But if I get excited, I can't promise you. Okay, this is a gold tone something or other. Has a little, like a hook clasp that's stuck on something else. There it goes. Okay, I don't want to lose any pendants. Did it have one? Not sure. This feels really light, like a West Germany piece. And I do see some writing on there. So maybe it's a West Germany. It is. Oh, that's great. That's really good. These sell great. They sell really well. Let's see if the class works. They're just very light. I have to look into what they used. Beautiful condition. Oh, I'm excited about that. I'm going to put that up here on my chain sort of hanger thing. And usually I'll put a tag on something right away because I don't want to have to twice look at it and say oh it's West Germany rather just right now put West Germany now you know why I have 
chicken scratch because when you're doing this stuff, you want to go as quickly as you can. So I am going to tag this chain like that. These little stickers are great. I do have a link for them in my descriptions. Um, some of them can be really lousy, but these are really good and they're in the description of the video where I get them um, on Amazon. And I do get a little tiny fee if you use my link, uh, but you will not be charged any more for the product if you use my link. So just letting you know that. I think it was a couple weeks ago I spent quite a lot of time updating my Amazon links, and also letting you know what those links go to. Because previously, I just put links in my description, but you didn't know what they were for until you clicked on them. But now I tell you what they are before you click on them. So there's a link to the Presidium Gem Tester. There's a link to a lot of the lights and equipment that I use. Um, not to say that I'm any kind of big timer here. I just started not even a year ago, so I'm not saying that I have a corner on the market of these products, but hey, I've gotten this far with what I have, so if it's nice and it works well, I like to share it with you. This is one of those that I don't want to cause more tangles getting it out, but it seems to be coming out. Isn't that wild? That's really good. I think we have to find a clasp, though. Oh, it's a multi-chain. All right, detour. We'll take that off. And, wow, this looks really cool. Lovely. Here's your clasp, my honey. Down here in this pile. I think so. Hanging out here with the elephant. Maybe this is it. We'll see. Oh boy, now look what I've gotten myself into. A kind of a glob. So let's not make things worse. Just very gently. I wonder what that string is too. You're going to be in big trouble if you turn out to be nothing. Okay. Just open this stuff up. Undo some more of these. I just don't want to lose the pendants on them, but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. In, in untangling, I find you just have to do what you have to do. Oh, what's that say? Looks like it says 925. It does. And that's on that little string. So, hmm. Okay. I hope you can all see okay. Oh, an earring. Cute. Oh, that's the second one. So we have two of those. I keep getting some of this out. Maybe I can get to that other turquoise piece again. It's just so exciting to do this because you can't wait to see what you have. The suspense is wonderful and if you've got the patience it's very relaxing. But I will say for me I do have to make myself relax, keep reminding myself that I'll get to all those other pieces and take my time. Otherwise, I would probably hate untangling. So I just, I guess I just kind of accept it as part of what needs to be done and just relax into it, I guess. I'm not seeing a clasp I can undo on this piece. Yeah, here it is. Wonderful. So, in my intro, I 
always say, Hey everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles. And a friend of mine said they could tell, no, they said, are you from New York or something? I said, no, why? And they said, oh, just the way you say your name in your intro. And I'm like, how? And they said, just say your name. And I said, Sherry. And they laughed. So then I guess I kind of get it because some really hard accent New Englanders would say Sherry. You know, hi, this is Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. And I'm parking my car in the yard. So I guess that's how I say the Sherry that made them laugh. So now when I do my intro, I'm like, okay, do I say Sherry or Sherry? I can't say Sherry. I've never said Sherry. My family hasn't. I think it's a lovely way to say the name. I'm not knocking it at all. It's just that those who say Sher Sherry probably think Sherry sounds different. So, just making some chitter chatter to bide the time. But this thing, oh, that string. All right, this is a good looking piece. It looks silver plated. Um, it's lovely. I'm so used to like showing you every detail that I have to remember. Okay, you're not doing that right now. You're not doing every detail. You're just looking really quick. See if it's marked sterling. So you can say yay or nay. Pretty piece for sure. We'll put that in the test pile and we'll look at it some more. I know what my favorites are already, and I would love to know what your favorites are. So if you have a minute, leave me a comment. And I want to let you all know I appreciate so much that you take time out of your day to watch the videos and then to go and, and click that comment button and to sit down and write me something. That takes time, and I don't take that lightly. I appreciate it so much. And that's also why I take the time to answer every comment uh, the best that I can. Sometimes if the video has run for several months, I'll, I haven't gone back and responded just because I don't know there's comments there. But if this is a new video and you're watching it, um, I'll be answering the comments right away. So. Thank you for that so much. I really appreciate all of you. And it's such a fun part of the video for me is to, as soon as I post it, I sit down to see who's commented. Okay, now this is, looks like a piece of India jewelry. I've had a lot of these pieces and every time I get them, people will say, make sure you really check that because I got one that was 24 karat, maybe plated or 24 karat gold plated. This looks much more serious than any of the other pieces that I've got. So let's at least take a look quickly. It has a spring ring clasp. Let's see how would it go. Okay, so this would kind of double here. Oh, wow. Wait, does it? So this, okay. The pendant is here all this jewelry on the table. And here's the chain, and there's the clasp. So, see what I mean? I'm thinking that this probably clasps somewhere along here. Oh, there's the little loop. Now let's see what it looks like. I think this is going to be beautiful. And then you've got the chain and the tassel, so it would hang like that. That's a very pretty one. Nice. All right, let's test with the magnet. It does stick. So if these are like 24 karat plated, I guess I could test for that, but so far I haven't seen any that are. That's quite different. And it is that very darker color gold, so I'll definitely be testing that. The testing pile is getting kind of big down there on the tray. Also in this bag, box bag, I got
got some Alex and Ani bracelets. One of them was had a lot of sterling silver like bead balls on it that sold already. It's a beautiful bracelet. So I'm thinking that's definitely sterling. And would you say that's a G? These also sell pretty well because of the, you know, just that one letter to someone's name. So that's exciting. And oh, wow. Okay. Rosemary, are you watching? I have a couple of bracelets that are similar to this. Sterling silver, they're in my sterling silver video. And I love them. And she just bought the two of them. This is kind of similar, right? Rope design, cuff bracelet. It's marked inside. Let's see what it says. It says vintage 60-6 in the words. Not in the numbers, but in the words. Vintage 66, so it must be a brand. It's not magnetic, so that's very cool. We'll have to see how that goes. Testing pile again. So check your Alex and Ani. They are oftentimes sterling silver. And I didn't know that for like the first six months of jewelry. So that's this one again. Okay. Let's get this out of here. So far, so good. I'm still not having to put things down on a plate and undo them that way. So that's fun. We also have a pair of earrings that go with this a bracelet too. Okay, wait a minute, this is a bracelet. So what do I have? I have the necklace to this, and now I have the bracelet, and we have earrings. So I was waiting to see if we got more pieces. Here's the earring, isn't that cute? I think there's just one earring for now. So just to show you some things that are coming up. That's awesome. Bracelet, where did I put the necklace? Right here, yeah, look at toggle clasp. Necklace, bracelet, and I'll put this back on the board because we need to find the other earring. Wow, that's a whole entire purer, whole entire set of jewelry because three pieces or more makes a complete purer jewelry set. Time to do the wipey. So I did stop using the alcohol wipes. And that I, that's a big story. I don't want to <laughs> bore you with that. And today I'm using Mr. Clean wipes. Because it's just convenient. And it just helps to kind of keep things clean as you're going along. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm careful what I wipe as far as jewelry with these. But... Sometimes I'll wipe a little something. Okay, that was really fun to find that. Now we'll have to be on the hunt for the other earring. Ooh, I think we might get this piece undone. Maybe I'll push everything over to the side a little bit so we'll have a place where we can uh, lay out the pieces and see them on Buster, perhaps. Okay, so there's a gold chain running through here. I might have to get that out so it'll give us a little more freedom. I see a beautiful heart there that has, what you call that, repose. I'm trying to learn what repose is and is not. So this would probably help a lot if we get that out. Oh, it's another one of these gold teardrop. Okay. So I also found a pair of gold teardrop earrings. And they say 925 on them. So they are most certainly Vermeil. 
and I was hoping that there would be something to go with them. Let's hope that this is the piece that goes with it. Because there was also a bracelet that had the teardrop on it, but it was not marked 925. So this could be or not be. could go with the one or the other. Okay. So how's everyone doing for their holiday preparations and all of that? I hope you're all doing great. I'm really torn with my decorating. I don't, I don't even want to start. I'll start crying, but... I'm in the middle of looking for another place to live, so I don't want to do too much decorating, get too much stuff out. So I'm a little sad that I don't have much up decorated because I love to do all that Christmas decorating. So I haven't done much of that, but I sure hope that you all have and that you're really enjoying yourselves because it's a wonderful time of year. It's a wonderful thing to celebrate the birth of our Savior for sure. And I love to go all out and just celebrate this time of year. But it's going to take a little time till I get settled in another place. And then I'll probably be able to show you some of that, which would be so fun. Okay, this is turning out to be a necklace with letters on it caught in this string thingy, so I think this is not going to fall off. I see the 925 on it, so it does go with the earrings. <gasps> Marvelous. So this is our Vermeil necklace that matches the earrings. Now, I know that there'll be things that you'll want to purchase. I'm sorry I'm not doing prices on this video, but you can see why. It's just a chance to get things untangled and get a quick look at what they are. If you absolutely have to know about it, you're welcome to send me an email and ask me about it. It's tough, though, to um, research things that I'm not ready to research. So I'll let you know, you know, if I can research that item or not. And yeah, I hope I'm explaining that well, but okay, this is a lobster clasp. There's our adorable teardrop with a 925 on it. And let me see if the chain is marked too. It's not. You would think it would be. But again, I'm having a quick look at it. So that's really pretty. I will show you the earrings since we are talking about them. And here they are. Aren't they gorgeous? And they're marked 925 on the side. Let's see. Is that a match? I would think. I mean, the earrings are bigger, but it's very similar for sure. So, I'm going to put these back on the board. I'm very much, um, maybe photographic memory. Once something is in one spot, if I move it, I'm like helpless. So, I am going to make a quick tag so that I know that's 925. Look how quick that is, right? And put it here hang it up on the board so that's so fun now we have a necklace and earrings matching there too okay let's try to get this out because I know things with letters on them can really cause a lot of tangle and I've learned my lesson I don't just show what the letters say one time we had something very bad and it was just not good but you were great about it and I moved it away quickly, so that was wonderful. And this just says the name Lauren. That's cool. Lovely. Lightweight um, 
lobster class. We'll have to see if that's like for May or anything. And our way to tell the quickest is to use the magnet. The letters do stick to the magnet a little bit, so I'll just hang this up here too. And I do know a Lauren, so maybe I can use that, or maybe some of you. Okay, we have this adorable cap that's been winking at us all the way through. I wonder how long I should go with this. Maybe have two untangle videos? Because again, I don't want to put up videos with things for sale right now when people aren't really buying. Because um, once the video is posted, then it kind of goes down on the list of what YouTube shows you. And you might miss some of the really good jewelry that was priced because it was at a time you weren't looking to buy. Okay, let's see. I love the brass chain on this. But it's quite long. And I'm wondering if it's like a double layer. Let's undo this clasp. That's also a brassy looking chain. Hmm. And a very dark chain in here. That looks cool. I think that's going to the cat. Any more clasp I can undo? Oh, and there's a little delicate chain in here. Ooh. I want to see them all now. I'm so excited. Okay, that came undone. That feels heavy. I'm really admiring brass jewelry. I think it's so pretty. To me, it's like sterling silver with patina. It's just gorgeous. Okay, a lot of times we go for one thing and we end up getting something else out first, huh? Which may be the effluent. The little elephant. Maybe not. Okay. Just relax all these chains. Mm. Okay, if something doesn't change soon, I'm going to have to try a different tactic. Must be a double, because it's not just pulling out. Oh, do I see a clasp? Yeah, but we already did it, see? So I think that is the situation on this one. So let's go after, like, this little beaded chain. Then we'll probably be able to get the other one out. I sound like I know what I'm talking about here. All hopeful. Let's just get this out and that will come out. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. Okay, don't lose the pendant. Oh, there's that stinker string thingy. Okay, we got him. And it's not a double at all. Oops, it just fell out of the pendant just now after all that time. So let's put it back in there so we can at least know what we're working with. Cute. Brass tone or brass chain. Won't know yet, but it's cool. And look at that cat, he's so cute. almost thought I saw it moving for a minute. So it's probably, hey, it doesn't say quartz. That would be so cool if this was a wind up. So 
It's not, it's not doing anything. Let me try this. So we know this part works. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. Hi. It doesn't say quartz on it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't take a battery. I don't know. There's usually like a little place you can pop it off to put a new battery in, but I'm not seeing that either. I don't know. What do you think? It would certainly be moving if the wind-up part worked. Okay, that's adorable. Let's put it to the side and see what happens with him. Okay, now I think I was saying I was going to get one of these little thinner chains out. Ooh, what's that? Anyone know what that star um, maker's mark is or hang tag? A little bit of a knot there. Let's work on that later. Let's see what we got on that. Oh, things are loosening up here. Wonderful. This is a very cool chain. It has a long extender. Lobster clasp. And I'm not sure if it says anything, but let's try the magnet. It sticks to the magnet. So I'm going to put it in the pile of chains. If I had any question about whether it needed tested, I would put it in the testing pile. I love watching other YouTubers and seeing how they organize their things and what they do with pieces as they unbox them. This one's shiny. And it's really got itself in there. Oh, look at this, because there's a few pendants. And maybe these were all lying next to each other. And then, oh boy. Let's try to get to the bottom of this guy. We know it said 925 on one end of it. And it has this sort of hook thing on this end. Let's see where it's going. You've got to come out of there, darling, because Make me crazy. That looks fun. Musical notes. Oh, yes, I'm loving that. So, see why these are crazy. If there is the slightest little link that's open, that string will tuck itself right in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, where is it going? Hopefully, it ends right here. Oh my. Clasp. No, it's already unclasped. Ah, okay, this is frustrating me a tiny bit. So I'm going to have to let that one go again and just work on the pieces around it. It's the only way to do it. Because it's still got itself around quite a few. That little pearl just sort of wrapped itself around. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let that string piece go again. Darn. Yeah. All right, let's concentrate on something else. How about this piece? We'll do that little anti-knotting trick where you roll the knot in your fingers gently because you don't want to bend any of the links like that and then it sort of comes out a little there's the other end wow it's like round and round and round it okay there we go mm, 
what's next. Which corner does it go around now? This one. Oh, just when you think. Just when you think. You got it. You don't got it. Then you get something else. So if anyone is just tuning in for the first time, I'd like to welcome you and thank you so much for clicking on my video. I can't tell you how much I appreciate every one of you. Um, I started, I guess, about eight months ago. Didn't know much about jewelry. I'm still learning a lot. And I was buying little boxes of jewelry, maybe those Shop Goodwill blue boxes. Just unboxing. One of those boxes would take me days to get through. Then I started to realize there's a place called ShopGoodwill.com. The jewelry was so much better. Ordered a couple boxes from there. And then I thought to myself, well... Since I'm going to unbox this anyway, why not just put my phone in a little phone holder, record myself unboxing. I don't know if I'll ever put it on YouTube or whatever. But I did. I put the video up and people started watching. So I recorded my next unboxing. I mean, the early videos are, I can't watch them because... You know, the, the volume wasn't that great, and just be encouraged, any of you that want to start a channel, just start anywhere, because people are so wonderful. Some people were mean, but a lot of people were very nice. And, wow, the video started to really get watched, and people started buying jewelry right away, and that's where I am today. So, I explained that because... What I like to do is unbox the jewelry, just as if you're right here with me. Now, I've had a lot of people say, why don't you organize your stuff first? Why don't you clean it first? And there are a lot of people that do that, and I love that as well. But for me, I unbox it. You get to see it just as I am. And then I will take those pieces that you've already seen and research them or clean them or do what they need so hope that helps explain what my what my aim to do is on my channel okay I have to take a different direction here oh that string I'm ready to cut it would you cut it I mean what would I have to lose it's just a string Let's see here. I may have to go on a plate with that. Let's start somewhere else. Because I bet if we can get more things out, like this piece that we were working on, then the, every piece you get out makes it easier. For the most part. Oh, this is happy. This is being very happy. Music note. I can't wait to see what that is. And this looks like sterling. So this is already showing us a mark. And look at that. It just happens to be stuck on there. A little thread got stuck. So it could be anything that's holding something up. You never know. Wow. That is really shiny. It's, um... It's kind of like a locket, but there's no hinge that it would open. It's got all rhinestones. Lots of rhinestones here. And it looks to me like it's on a sterling clasp. It's marked. It certainly says 925 here and here, which is interesting. And here as well. So that's a lot of sterling silver markings. 
Does it go with this pendant? I don't know. But the pendant's beautiful. So I will put this to the side because I'm thinking this is heavy. So if that was sterling, rhodium plated, we'd want to know about it. But that's a lovely, yeah, okay. Testing pile. Oh, this looks cool. Look at that shiny, shiny. This is a little bracelet. It says something on it. And it says Claire's. You know how many times I'm really surprised at something from Claire's? It'll be very shiny and very beautiful. So I don't like to count them out just because it says that name on it. Do you know if Claire's has been around a while? And if so, are their older pieces better than newer? Because I'm telling you, I found some beautiful things. And don't they also sell sterling? I'll have to look at that. Okay, I think we got this piece free. So let's try this. Trying to get a less chaotic environment here. Do I want to? Yeah, I want to leave that down for now. Oh, and I see a little. Maybe. Could be gold. I'll put that on the earring board. Oh, there's another one. So that's a pair of earrings. That would be very cool. They're not magnetic. Not seeing a mark right now, but again, that's something that takes time. So, let's see, do I have one of those little baggies around? Because they're tiny, I don't want them to get lost. And I'll put those in my testing pile. Might be fun, we might have some 14 karat, don't know. Now, time for another. Definitely another hand wipe. I'm really tempted to, every time we get the second earring, to just bring it over to the camera and say, and this is this, and they're this much money. But again, right now, with people shopping for others for Christmas, I'm kind of hesitating to do that because I think I will miss a lot of buyers and a lot of people that want to buy might miss out. So, Okay, we have this. Lobster claw here. We have stone, really bright blue little beads. This reminds me of a sopata, like a what was that other sopata with the letter K? It was a it was a separate line of sopata jewelry with the letter K in the on the hang tag. Reminds of something like that, but I'm not saying that's what it is yet. So let me see where this where this might make sense to clasp to. Hmm. Maybe here. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. did that and oh yeah that's really nice now what's that on the bottom hmm. I'm not sure but it's cute looks almost like a beehive but it has a little flower the stones that's definitely stone I'm not sure if it's turquoise or halite. I'll have to look closer. So I'll put this one to the side and check that out. Looks like gold tone. Not a darker gold tone. Slight bit of wear, but that's a nice, very nice necklace. I'll put that to the side, and it does, it is magnetic, so. Okay. 
Now, uh, let's see. Do we think we can finish this in this video, or do I need to do two? Probably do two of them so I can give it justice. Okay, yes, I think I'll do two. So, I just got this piece out. That's a beauty. They're like gold bars. Quite long. Is there a clasp on it? That's pretty. Oh my gosh, I can picture all kinds of things to layer this with. Wow, I cannot wait to do something with that. I have so many ideas to share with you. Things I've been learning about layering different pieces, pearls and clasps and just lovely things. I mean, even that, right? But I would say layer this piece with a string of pearls and then maybe that to the side. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to show you. Also, things like silver tone and gold tone together. I'm excited. So this looks like it doesn't have a clasp. Really nice quality, though. So that's going to go in our clean pile. So it needs to be cleaned, and then it's going to be beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get this out of here because it's not going to make a very nice thumbnail. But look, it says 925 sterling. But it is like a copper color. And it's made by Emma Via. Let me see if this is also marked. It is. 925. Well, that's really pretty. So it's vermeil, but it's um, a rose gold vermeil necklace. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to say a bad word. Um, it's a pretty necklace. Two circles on it. I just think it might say something not nice. So I'll put that aside. Oh, I want to show you something else. So in the last video, I was showing you this, this paint pen that I was trying on a couple pieces of jewelry. I wasn't real pleased with it, but I did get this bracelet. I think I got it from Jen. Ordered some jewelry from her to support her channel. And the back was awful. So I scraped the back off and I used my paint pen on it. And I love it. I think that looks great. And I'm definitely going to be rocking this bracelet when I wear my AB crystal necklaces. I think that's beautiful. And I have some stones to fix there. So I wanted to show you that sometimes that paint really looks nice and it's my own piece so I would not do that on any piece of jewelry that I'd be giving to someone else unless they wanted me to and it was disclosed so just let me know that okay I think I'm going to use this as my thumbnail so I'll take a picture of this um let's see do I need to give you my email I'll give you my email address not that anything was for sale but if you're new to my channel that's my email address, capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Normally, if you wanted to order jewelry, I would need these four pieces of information. I've got to have all four. The video name and episode number, the timestamps of when your jewelry shows up, a brief description of that jewelry, and the prices that I gave. So you can see this is not a selling video, but... There's my information just the same, and I do thank you for that. Also want to invite you to subscribe to my channel, and do click the bell, leave a comment. Any of those things will bring my videos back up into your YouTube page, and you'll see them again. But if you subscribe and click the bell, then you won't miss the next video where I can come back with some prices for these things, and it won't be an untangled video, it'll be a more organized video. So I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And correction, there may be one more untangled video, but I think you know what I'm saying. You won't miss them, and you can email me first and get the pieces that you like. So here we go. Subscribe and like. We love you. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Okay, everyone, you know what I'm going to say. 
We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye. Just in case you need my email, it is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. So there it is. Thanks so much. And I also have a Facebook group that's also called Blessed Bobbles. It's coming along. It needs some help. I'm not great with technology, and I'm really not good with Facebook. So if you know a lot about those things and you'd like to help, send me an email. I'd love to have some people along that are helpers and definitely would help the channel. So let me know. Thanks.